Three strong reasons why Oshomole should go back and beg Obaseki. Oshomole to beg Obaseki. Can that be true on this planet Earth? Or in the one next to come. Hello, my wonderful people. A very warm big thank you to every one of you out there. Thank you so much. Uh, we all know what happened between Governor Gordon Obaseki and Oshomole. They both worked together in Oshomole's administration eight years. And when it was time for Oshomole to go, Obaseki came on board. First and all, they were good friends. Yes, they continued and everything went well. However, second tenor close to the towards the end of obaseki's first tenor obaseki was no longer happy with uh, uh with position you know and um to both of them they know exactly what's going on and today is things fall apart so they are saying shomole may want to beg obaseki can that be true or three reasons why Oshomole needs to beg obaseki let's understand all that is really going on Hey, this is really something else. Three strong reasons why Oshomole should go and beg Obaseki. The political relationship between the former national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Adam Oshomole, and his former political godson and advisor, why he was still governor of Edo State, Governor Obaseki, who is now the state governor, indeed is one that should be studied by students of political history. It is that remarkable. It has a lot of dimensions and lessons to be taken from it. You know, if Nigeria was like some other countries, they should have studied it. You know, this is what they do in Harvard. They do in some great universities where they study the mind and understand what could have gone wrong. You know, they take it as a course study. They even give it as a project to political students who are studying political science. But Nigeria, we don't really pay attention to some things you know, that could, you know, bring about innovations. Let's talk, continue. It has a lot of dimensions and lessons to learn from it. In what it turned out to be a case of father becoming the dishonor dishonorable one. Adam Sushomole has witnessed a lot of down turns and loses since he became his... Adam Sushomole has witnessed a lot of down turns and loss since he began his hostility and fight with Governor Gordon Obaseki since his first tenure began. First, he lost the control of the state when he tried to have his way with the state legislator. Secondly, he lost the control of the national leadership of the ruling party before finally being relieved of his position as the national chairman. As if these were not enough, he lost woefully in his bid to install his new anointed candidate as the governor of Edo State. This may have been the biggest loss for him, as he had to bury his face, his face in shame, as the governor overpowered him and all political structures put in place just to wrestle power from him was made void. The APC even went so far as having Tinubu do a public announcement where it urged Edo people to vote Obaseki out. With all this, it must be clear now to Adam Soshomole that God has not left Obaseki. Like the Bible says, when a Samuel was told to stop crying for Saul, the first king of Israel, and to go on and anoint David, the handwritings are over, all over the world. Secondly, you cannot find the person who God has anointed the new David. As a matter of necessity, we believe he should eat the humble pie and make some reconciliation and seek for forgiveness. This will bring him back all the good and blessings he has lost. You never can tell. He can even regain his position more than he has ever anticipated. Whoa, what a talk that Oshomole should go and apologize, beg Governor Godwin Obaseki, reconcile with him. Of course, you cannot uh, throw that away. It's possible. If men, you know, refuse to be proud and say, you know what, although you offended me, I refuse to be angry. Although you feel uh, whatever the case may be, I refuse to be angry. 
and um, I'll take it on board. I will go and I will say, sorry. Do you know that will humble the other person? If you can take that position, I know it's difficult, so don't get me wrong. It's a very difficult one. Somebody who you feel um, should not, it has no, cannot be talking to you. The one not talking to you, you know, and saying this and that. It's very painful, you see. But if you feel that you've been offended and you feel very hurt, the best thing to do is to leave that offense before God. Go to him and tell him how you feel. Because you see, offense you see, eh, it leads to a lot of even sicknesses. Mm -hmm. Offense. Oh, yeah. Personally, I've seen somebody who was offended, who, who felt offended, and it led to a sickness. Medically, they are telling this person, you've been diagnosed with this. But when, you know, after some, you know, uh, some kind of a counseling, yes, the person was advised and asked to express why, what is this? Why are you so apprehensive? What is going on? Talk about it. And the person began to receive counsel and say, forgive. We know you've been offended. It's so deep. Guess what? That same very issue that needed medical attention, medication be given periodically at some certain point in time to keep the person's soul and body together. Because the person, after a lot of cancer, because, I mean, it was a deep hurt, you know, began to get cancer and gradually began to have a relief of mind, began to look into the matter and say, okay, I'm alive, which is a good part. Um, it's okay. People can hurt you and began to let go. Do you know the person became well, healed? And after a while, the medication stopped and the person became better. Even carrying out medical examination, found out that the person was stronger, better, much more, even more healthier than when the person was engaged in taking those medication. So a merry soul is like a medicine, a merry heart, a joyful person. It's like a medicine to the soul, honestly, truly speaking. So please, don't allow anybody to keep you in any cage of offense. It leads to high blood pressure. It leads to depression. It leads to a whole lot of medical condition, too numerous to mention. The best thing to do, it may be very, it might, be a very, it might, might have been a very deep hurt and offense. Let the person go. Tell the person the person have offended or hurt you. And the person feel the person, or that person says, let it go. You know, maybe you need to change the location. Maybe there is something you need to do. Just do it and, you know, and free yourself, yourself, you know. Anyway, guys, what do you think? Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.